I love the city of Madison and everything about it. It's past, it's people, it's present, and it's potential. I've seen this city from many sides. As a student at the University of Wisconsin, as a member of its faculty, as a city council member, and as your mayor. I've worked in the private sector as an investment advisor and as a project manager for a major Dane County corporation. I've worked on a wide area of economic development and housing issues for the state. I've seen what works in Madison and what doesn't. I've been a part of moving Madison forward. I've never been shy about suggesting new ideas and advocating for change when I thought we could do better. This is one of those times. The Edgewater, the Downtown Library, Overture, snow plowing, taxes that are too high, a budget that is structurally unsound, the exodus of talented city managers, neighborhood groups whose input is ignored and whose participation is devalued, good ideas that go nowhere and bad ideas that won't go away. Madison isn't moving forward or working together or getting things done getting things done as it should, as it has, and as it can. The next mayor of Madison needs to have the know-how and vision to get Madison working and moving forward together during difficult, complex, and challenging times. That's what I offer. That's what I've done. And that's why today I'm announcing my candidacy for mayor. Yay! So, some of the news reports about my candidacy have described me as a politician. Let me tell you the truth. I am a lousy politician. I'm too forthright, too honest, too interested in the nuts and bolts of leading a city. I like the exchange of ideas and the good ideas that come with open debate, discussion, and collective reasoning. I like to get things done, and that's the way to do it. I'm not a politician. I'm a mayor. The inability of the current administration to get things done and to address challenges before they become crises threatens the future of our city. It undermines our ability to come together as Madisonians and focus our considerable talents and energy to collectively solve the issues, big and small, that confront us. We can do better. During my terms as mayor, we began the Civic Center, the Capitol Center, Monona Terrace, turned State Street into a bus and pedestrian mall. We laid the foundation for Madison Metro. We had a AAA bond rating, recognizing our strong fiscal management. We balanced budgets, and they reconciled at the end of the year. We combined civic pride with civic responsibility. We made things happen. Together, we can do it again. One of the first things I'll do as mayor will be to meet with every member of the city council to get their recommendations for their own and citizen appointments to city committees and create a committee system that is diverse with people and ideas. I'll get governmental, labor, business, and educational partners together to get to work to create opportunistic programs that will expand employment, training, and workforce development for all Madisonians. We'll collaborate with county government, environmentalists, business leaders, urban planners, neighborhood groups to adopt a Madison plan that comprehensively addresses our land use and transportation goals in order to create a safe and healthy environment for all Madisonians to live, work, study, and play. I'll organize a broad citizen-based commission modeled on the Monona Terrace Commission that will produce a working solution for overture. People. People from all across Madison and from across the political spectrum urge me to run for mayor. 
The people of the city value the services their city provides while demanding they get value for their dollars. The people of Madison want their mayor to envision and enact initiatives that ensure a positive, common future for the city, its neighborhoods, its people, its downtown, its suburbs, and its parks. They want us to get things done now for this generation without sacrificing the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. With all the serious challenges we face, Madison is still the best city in this country to live, work, and raise a family. We are home to a world-class university, great public schools, gorgeous lakes, a thriving biotech sector. We are situated in a county distinguished by beautiful and productive farms, miles of bike trails, innovative county government programs, and hardworking, caring people. Being mayor of Madison is the toughest job I've ever loved. I am prepared to focus on nothing else but working with every one of you to make Madison work for all of its citizens once again. Thank you. And I, I want to thank all the people of the city who helped write this. That's where it came from. Questions? Paul, at, uh, at the end of the day, there was uh, some collective praise for the arrangement that was reached in the governance of the Overture Center. What issue do you have with that? The Overture solution that we've got now I think is a very good start, but it's not anything more than an interim solution because we have failed over the last decade to do the one critical thing, which is a comprehensive plan of the facility, of the performing arts in Madison. We never looked from the very beginning at the needs of the artists, the performing arts groups, the resident companies, the people who buy the tickets, the people who don't buy the tickets and might buy the tickets, and the artists and the performers outside of Overture. That was never done. That will give us more and better answers. Secondly, this, this present proposal does not envision all of the possible options of management. It's got very strict timelines in terms of certain things happening, particularly to management and staff. I would have liked to have seen a little more flexibility since we don't know the final resolution as to what overture will look like. Well, for one thing, we're going to make fewer mistakes. Um, I believe that a lot of the issues are the same, that as we look 20 years out to our vision of the city, we are going to be focused on, as I mentioned earlier, jobs, jobs for everyone, all sectors, people who are just moving in and developing career ladders people who are well experienced. In addition, going to the question of, of planning, we must deal with land use and transportation in a coordinated way. I think those, those are the significant issues that we had then and we still have now. I mean, you look at eight years ago, the library was one of our campaign, was a campaign issue. It still is. Uh, the other thing I'd, I'd, I'd mention that that's different is uh, the incumbent Mayor Cheslevich has a record, and it's 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 it's, it's a record that, in some areas, uh, I take exception to. You said make fewer mistakes. What were some of the mistakes you made the last time? Uh, well, we didn't get up on the internet fast enough. We didn't have a good enough uh, uh, organization in terms of uh, community base. You mentioned uh, the record that the current mayor has. Uh, 
He had a record four years ago. What was your evaluation of the record then? Did you consider running then? I did not consider running then. Um, I was not impressed with the record at the time. I'm less impressed with it now. I mean, when you look at what was on the agenda eight years ago, overture, unresolved. The question of the library. Um, all of these are, 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 are issues today. And, and there's so many more. And, and, I, and I guess I, I should point out that we've gone backwards in certain areas, particularly in the whole area of growth and development and then enormous conflict, which is a systematic problem between neighborhoods and developers. It, 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 it does no one uh, justice. There's already been jokey comparisons between you and Barb. There's an editorial cartoon in today's State Journal. Do you think that your history of running for this office and serving as the mayor, is that a hindrance in some Will some people say, I can't get this guy's back again? Or is it all valuable in terms of the Most of the voters want to look forward. And I, I think in what I've said about land use, transportation, jobs, and I might en mention strong partnerships with the school district, with the county, and with the state. All that is, is what the future is about. If we want to start comparing records, um, the nice thing about, about comparing records is, as, as I indicated earlier, when we look at the Civic Center, Malling State Street, the Capitol Concourse, all the senior housing that we built, the tremendous expansion of the park system. It worked. It worked because of our engagement of citizens. It worked because we brought together all the people of this community. And that's a spectacular way of managing that kind of openness openness to people and ideas. That's what gets us results. I once pointed out to, to, to a journalist who, who complained about how long some of these deliberative processes took. I said it may take a few more months, but we get it right and we don't have to go back and fix it. Can you elaborate a little bit on how you differ from the mayor on issues of land use? Well, I, 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 I think if you look at the processes, if you look at the systems, and how we deliberate on those matters, you'll find that I have tremendous trust in the citizen committees, in the citizen commissions, for making recommendations for how they will evolve. I don't impose my own will. I don't subvert the committee system. And that produces a different, better result.